This is the Alternative News Network with alternative fact, unfounded theories, and a proud enemy of the state. This program is brought to you by the California Sour Grapes and Grapes of Wrath Growers Association because life sucks, so eat something sour. And by several unnamed sponsors and conspiracy theorists. Announcing our flagship station, WDMB. We are Real Fake News. And now, our moderator, Bunny Hopper, and I'm Jack Miha. Hello, it's Bunny Hopper here with the latest, greatest fake news ever. An unnamed White House source reports that President Trump was caught in the Lincoln bedroom jumping on the bed. That's horrible. Ah, oh, it gets worse. He had his shoes on. The source quoted Trump as saying, Obama got to do it. There are unconfirmed reports of hundreds of hidden cameras in the White House bathrooms. If true, it'll be the first White House scandal known as Poopgate. Poopgate. Oh, no. President Trump is reported to be organizing a thank you rally for all the voters who did not vote in the hopes that their non-participation will help re-elect him. And reporters from the White House press office state that Kellyanne Conway is getting the presidential Freedom Medal. Guess why? Why? For the phrase, alternate facts. Senate confirmation committees have changed the rules to allow appointees to take the fifth and still be confirmed. And President Trump has vowed to release his tax returns with, quote, when they pry them from my cold, dead hands. News reports that the Trump White House has no pets because animals don't like the president are false. It's the president that doesn't like the animals. And in response to Korea's provocative missile launches, the United States is proposing the installation of several giant catcher's mitt. And an unconfirmed report says that the uh, President Trump will be selling t-shirts with the phrase, I voted for Donald Trump and all I got was this damn t-shirt. And in smaller print, hats are also available. To help make America great again, Ivanka Trump has authorized the first Trump cheese grater with proceeds going to several sacred cows. Ooh. Twitter announced today that when you access the presidential Twitter account, it'll play the first 10 seconds of Hail to the Chief. And the White House announced today that the first family will not be taking residence in the White House. The president will not allow his family to live in public housing. And the White House press office announced today that weekly press briefings will take place at Gould's Gym with the last briefing of the month taking place as a cage match. And remember, facts and political analysis are not as much fun as idle speculation and conspiracy theories. If you want the truth, gather all the news together, then run it through the Trump cheese grater. What you will find is the truth is really crap.